Okay. Power. We're dead. All right, let's go ahead and verify that. And then to do this, this whole plate has to... Oh, yeah. Now, we need to pull these here. Pull these. Uh, this one, this one, and these two. Just enough for us to get in there, pull our terminals, pluck them, place them, back together. Okay. It's tight. It's not going to be easy. Uh, power. Yeah, you still got those two plus two up top. Now we're gonna leave those. This one's gonna stay. This is the back side of our inverter. Oh, leave it on? Yeah, those those are gonna stay. This one comes off? Yes. See how the whole thing shifted at that point? These two and this one. Oh, we don't put those back on? Yeah, put all those back, please. Because when we go to flexing and twisting on this thing, I don't want that to pry. Oh uh, yeah, see it real good right there. Okay, all right, so picture time. Get your phone, snap picture of your terminal on either side. This particular one, or they're on clips and studs. So we don't have any screws or anything. We just get a pair of needle nose and pop all four corners. Pluck it, stick it, redo your wires. But this will get you the space you need. Don't torque it much more than I already have. And these boards are not identical. So we gotta catch that. Yeah, get your wires out first. That way you can torque on them. Yeah, don't drop that screw, please. Let me verify this box. Yeah, we got the right boards. We'll verify the final part numbers before we actually put them in. So both of them are going to have to be replaced? Yeah, we're going to change them both. This one actually failed, but this one's out of precaution. I'm not, I don't want to take any risk. And hopefully there wasn't any damage done to the inverters, which I don't think there was. Most of the time when these pop like that, the inverters don't go with them. Say again? Which is the inverter? The inverter? So the inverters are right here. Oh, yep. And then, so these this is, these are filter boards for uh, the power going into the inverters and everything else? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they're to clean up the voltage and take the really dirty, rough grid power uh, and, and smooth it out, take some of the irregularities out of it. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. So from here, yep, you, you see your studs in there? You're ready to pluck that one. There you go. Now there's one in the middle up top. You're gonna wanna get that one. You're also still gonna have to pull that ground wire off as well. There may be one on the bottom in the middle. This ground one too, you said right here? Yes. Yeah, there is one on the bottom middle. There you go. I don't see anything touching the bottom. All right, between here. Oh. Sometimes you have to grab them and spin them if you can, so you can get to the clips. Easier said than done. There you go. Good job. All right, so he's got two more on this side. Don't let that board drop. All right, so we're gonna sl sling it down and then come out the top. Now be careful, we got those capacitors in the way. Yep, like that, there we go. Oh no. Damn.
and he didn't break a stud. Look at that. High five. Bam. That's not easy to do. So before we put this in, let's match these up. We got a 397 Y2A. Yep, same series and everything. Yeah, see even that diode there got cooked on the top. What part is that? These are capacitors, little snubbers. 2.2 microfarad as part of the, the cleaning. So these coils here act like uh, line filters or uh, uh, they're harmonic filters. So a bunch of wire wrapped around the core and they help take the irregularities of the of the uh, power stream out of it and then these filters down here uh, these capacitors serve as a filter to help smooth out uh, the, the power that's passing through so see LB LA this is our input side this is technically our leaving side let's take a quick look at that inverter in there and make sure there's nothing obvious with that hopefully it's okay Typically, these will blow and everything else will be all right. Typically. See, that capacitor got a bunch of stuff on it, but it doesn't look like it damaged or penetrated. Now, part of what we... Here, hold this gently. So, what I'm looking for is I want to make sure my caps aren't popped. So, that cap's good, good. Okay, so they've not ruptured, which is, which is good. More than likely, that one just got a little heat damage from that other capacitor blowing up, and it probably had a little spark and fire for a minute. But I feel comfortable going back. Now, because of room, you got to keep all your wires straight. One thing to differentiate, all of these are spade. The others were threaded. So let's go ahead, let's pull this board, we'll slide it out, and then we'll come back in with the new one and then set the filter board final. Sound good? So same process, just... All right, so the smaller one first, yeah, that one. This part's just as fun as... Oh, that one actually went pretty smooth. Most of the time it doesn't. Okay, you wanna do that one? Go for it. Can I grab it from here? Very gently. <laughs> I might get it something in the bottom. Yeah, get it under this bar right there. There you go. Then you got wires in behind you. Let's get those out of the way. There you go. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't trying to take over. Let's pull these out. So you see your first pin up there? There you go. And then just, yeah, just nurse it on in. Make sure you don't have any wires. It's going to get taut. That middle one's... There it goes. Bam. I told Jack this was going to be hard, guys. Make this look hard. Come on. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wired up. different this time because reading this it calls for doing that like after everything's booted 
We've got VS3 long push, a confirmation button for when resetting, the address when the unit is changed, when the wiring is changed, or an additional indoor is installed. So they're going to readdress the whole bus. We got a UA53. Okay. No codes on it. it. Says there's some kind of connection issue between these. Let's go ahead and open these back up. I want to see this actual wire to make sure there's not some kind of issue in the middle. So we're having a weird communication bus issue. We're getting a code at the thermostats for U401, which is a issue between our, uh, our two outdoor condensers. But we're also getting a, uh, a UA53 on the master, which would indicate that there's a branch selector configuration problem We've already confirmed that the the third floor unit, which is the furthest away, uh, was wired to the BS terminals instead of the outdoor. So I was able to fix that, but I'm really starting to question if the outdoor units and the other branch selector got crossed at the fourth floor terminals, which is our closest one. We've only got two branch selectors. That's the only thing I can think of. We're gonna give it about a five minute run time see what it does and oh, that, that'll be a good starting point at minimum need a uh wire nut please thank you mm. <laughs> Okay, so let's hope that they did this wrong. And when I check this, I don't get continuity. Three. Really not what I wanted to see. Let's go ahead and check the other one. Definitely the other. Okay. So we were still getting a U401 code and the UA53 uh, code came back. So we came back into the suite, going back through the system to see what we can find. Um, Verified everything looked good on the fourth floor, which is our top floor closest to the wiring was good We confirmed the indoor to outdoor uh, wire was good between condenser uh, The all the dip switches were right. We didn't have any join systems. They were just it was all correct came down the third floor started digging through this one 
and then I noticed there was one discrepancy uh, on one of the, the thermostat wires leaving the branch selector box was a 22 gauge wire and that just didn't it's not right it's supposed to be a, a, an 18 a minimum 18 gauge uh, tube conductor non shielded up here is where that led to is this little fan coil now being the fact that that's the wrong wire size I am concerned that it is causing an issue but when I first got here uh, I pulled on the black wire just to see if it was terminated and it pulled straight out of the um, terminal block so that was obviously a problem uh, as soon as I reconnected it back our UA53 code instantly went away and we just had a U401 um, so we're trying to troubleshoot through that now go through that process try to get this system back on as best we can the final outcome was getting that uh, fan coil with the 22 gauge wire reconnected so just that wire had a poor enough connection that it was um, it was keeping the whole system out and so because the branch selector couldn't register the indoor because it couldn't establish proper communication with it it was basically telling the outdoor unit that I've got a misconfiguration uh, and I, I'm not you know, I, I can't I'm not going to function properly you know, with that dip switch for that particular branch circuit you know needed to be uh, disabled now I was extremely skeptical that that 22 gauge wire was going to work at all but it ended up working perfectly fine uh, I, I blew my mind so at this stage, uh, we're going to re-pull that 22 gauge with a proper 18 gauge, but we're going to do that at a later time. Because we were able to get the system functional, uh, we're just we're going to call it good enough for now. Uh, it still has a U401 code, so I want to I need to go through that because that is saying that there's some kind of communication issue between uh, the master and slave uh, outdoor units. So I, I don't understand what's going on with that uh, which is the Q uh, the Q terminals Q1 Q2 uh, between them we did we tested those wires and and they they were fine but I, I don't know I got to figure that out that's that's going to be next we were able to address some pretty major issues I feel really happy with uh, the final result at the end of the day it really turned into a much more dramatic troubleshoot um, we do have a, a lot of uh, really dirty power, really just poor conditions for the grid throughout this whole downtown district. So I'm not surprised that those noise filter boards were having an issue, especially being the fact that the uh, air louver vents were actually closed when we got to them. Uh, we have opened those up now, but uh, that, was, that was one of the issues we were, or I think that was a, a contributing factor to that failure is it just overheated blended with having power problems yeah anyway mtt take care of your family take care of your spouse spend time with your kids be safe this summer and i'll i'll see you around i'll catch you around i'll see you